The Range Rover Classic was acquired in 2006 and then it was already heavily modified for off-road competition. Namibia has something called Fussbait, which is a sort of obstacle course competition and this car was customized especially for it. The roof was chopped, a roll cage installed and the wheel arches were enlarged to accommodate larger tires. My other vehicle was a Land Rover Discovery in which the engine was swapped with a 1UZ FE, also locally known as a Lexus. It is an awesome engine, unfortunately it had some issues that were never solved. It overheated all the time and broke all the bits around it. However, fuel economy was amazing and it does have a beautiful sound. Learning from the previous engine swap, we kept the suspension from the Rover but swapped in K052 diffs and H55F gearbox from a Toyota Land Cruiser BJ70 to handle the increase in power. Using an old 1UZFE as a template, we positioned the engine so that the oil pan would not hit the front diff and directly mounted it to the chassis. We had to move the firewall back and finally we were able to fit the new 1UZFE from Lextreme. It is a tight squeeze. And then finally, she fired up. Here she is running with only headers connected and no exhaust or cooling and sounding a little bit rough. With the exhaust connected, the vehicle sounds a lot more tame and civilized. With the waterworks plumbed in, it was time for a pressure test. Hydraulics are not clear. Okay, buy hydraulics in, eh? Yeah. Ja, bedrading begin nou mooi lyk. car is now running fine and we have plenty of videos of us uh, causing havoc with it. However, there is one annoying challenge, a death wobble. Here is a slow-mo of it coming on. If there is anyone that knows how to fix it, please write about it in the comments.